an EDC update video, let's take a look. Now, the one thing I don't do are EDC videos a whole lot. Uh, of the eight or nine years that I've been doing this, I think this might be my third EDC video. Reason being is, quite honestly, I don't carry a lot. So with that said, let's jump into it. And then after that, I'm gonna get into a little bit of philosophy with EDC. First off, blade. Blades are kind of my favorite thing. So this is the Bradford Guardian 3. It just fixes to your belt horizontally. And then, so it'll go on your left side and then you can draw it out with your right hand. It's kind of fun having a fixed blade EDC and I really like this. That said, with my EDC knives, those change a lot. So for example, uh, I might have a folder on me as well. This is just what happens to be what I'm rotating with right now between the Bradford and this Benchmade Rift. But so with my knives, yes, definitely I will rotate through those, but I only carry one bigger knife. The second knife that I carry is this little classic SD. This knife, it never changes. It actually goes with me um, everywhere. So if, if I go somewhere, this knife is definitely going with me. What you've got here, I think I've done a review on this. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. you got your toothpick. You've got some tweezers. And I use both of those. Slivers. Um, I had to dig out a, some glass from one of my son's fingers, actually, from a shooting area because the, some shooters don't clean up after themselves. I'll try not to get on my high horse about that. A little blade on it. And then a nail file but this also has a screwdriver and then um, scissors, which I use the scissors quite a bit just to either trim some loose threads on clothes or um, actually trim my mustache with it a lot. I hate it when my mustache gets so long it gets in my mouth, drives me nuts. And then of course, uh, wallet, you can see, um, I've just, I've had this Maxpedition wallet forever. I bought this years and years and years and years and years ago, and I'm just still running with it. I've really liked, a lot of what I've used in the past are, uh, like trifolds, big leather trifolds. And while I love leather, love the leather, um, the one thing about this is it's just very small and thin, and I can't, uh, with the trifolds, what I would find is I would definitely, uh, if it's got space, I'm going to fill it. So with this, I carry the bare minimum and um, it doesn't get too fat, doesn't become uncomfortable. So these are my go-to wallets. Uh, also, another thing with leather that I have to be careful of is when carrying a leather wallet, for example, a lot of areas I would find myself in, I would be submerged in water. And a lot of that was just being out in the mountains um, or doing canyoneering, those type of things. And I would often forget to take my wallet out from my pants. And so uh, leather didn't like those situations very much. So that's another reason why these are so good for me. But man, I just love leather. Light, um, right now, I mean, always, always carry an EDC light for me. Um, I had a coworker ask me, he says, why do you carry a light on you? And boy, we, we could just go into the, the numerous amounts of times that I use a light and the power has even gone out at work. Um, and then I pull out that life and then I kind of snicker and laugh at him because I have a light and he doesn't. He's a good guy, we get along quite well. But right now, this is the uh, Olight S1R2 in the autumn. These are actually limited editions. So by the time this video will come out, I think, I think these will be done, actually. I don't know if they'll be able to get these or not. But, um, yeah, I having a good light on me, man, it's just there's so many things that I use a light for. just love it. Of course, my phone. Um, this is a LG G6, I think. Honestly, I don't get into the phones all that much. I mean, as long as it's, it's a reasonably updated phone, I'll roll with that. I try to keep my price of my phones down. And then what I typically do is I will run a phone until it is pretty much ready to go in the grave. 
That's just how I run with phones. Of course, my truck key here, and I got a little lanyard for it. This is something that I made, and I put a little bead on it. That bead is, where did I pick that up from? Blade HQ, actually. Uh, I just bought it from those guys. And then this is a backup light that I have, and it's so small. This is the Olight, what is it? The I1R EOS, I think it is. And it's really simple, simply operated. You've got two modes, so if you twist it, it comes on, and you twist it up higher, and those are your two modes, just a low and a high. And then what it is, is actually, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it's kind of far away, but uh, it's a USB rechargeable light. I like having this one on me just as a backup, and um, I have had to use that before. You know, for example, some lights, sometimes they'll get turned on in your pockets uh, accidentally, and you know, it's just nice to have that backup. Gun. Right now, I'm running the M&P. This is the version one. And you can see I have done some work to this uh, particular gun. And it's winter time. This full-size gun, you can see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a hoodie. It's colder weather, so I can get away with uh, carrying a, a bit bigger gun. You can see I have done a lot of work to this or uh, had somebody do the work. But uh, I've had it Cerakoted. That was by a local company here and they did a stippling job, and they went pretty aggressive per my request. You guys know how I like really aggressive uh, texturing on my guns and my knives for that matter. Um, th she actually told me, she says, well, we, we did this for one guy and he ended up bringing it back and he wanted us to knock it down a little bit because it was too much for him. I'm like, okay, that's a good sales pitch for me, do it. <laughs> With this, I've also got a, um, I have an extended mag release on this as an aftermarket part and some sights on this as well. And I think they're the Ameriglow. And these are, again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick these up, but it's a it's a U-shaped notch in the back with a single glow-in-the-dark dot. And then what you do is a big orange dot up front with a glow-in-the-dark center of that. But you stack that one on top of that one um, I absolutely love these sights for combat sights. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. The way I run my guns typically um, is an IWB holster. So this is what I'm running right now, uh, actually a leather version. Um, this is by Cardin Holsters. I don't know if he's still making these or not, so I'm not sure, but honestly, this is the best holster I have ever owned. Um, a lot of times I will end up carrying this holster or excuse me, I will choose to carry this gun because my guns change too. Let me take a step back real quick with my guns. Um, depending on the time of year, i.e. is it summer? Is it winter? I might carry a smaller gun. The three main guns I rotate through is my XDS. That's a very uh, subcompact, small, single stack nine millimeter. That's typically a summer carry because it just hides so much better than say a big, big full size double stack. Then of course my Glock 19, um, that one gets a lot of carry and this one. So I just, I rotate between the three of those. Uh, mainly with the XDS, the small one is more summer carry. And then um, the, the Glock and the Smith & Wesson, I just kind of rotate between those uh, because I like to. I like, I really like both guns. I'm not a fanboy of Glock. I'm not a fanboy of Smith & Wesson. I like both guns and, and uh, have fun with both of them. But with all those guns, my primary carry is an in the waistband holster. Actually for my Glock and my XDS, they're both Kydex is what I run. But uh, a lot of people don't like the, the in the waistband. I love it. And mine is a three o'clock carry, four o'clock carry, somewhere around there. Um, I have yet to really do the uh, appendix carry. Uh, I do have one holster. I won't go into detail on that one because it's kind of a, I think it deserves its own video, but sometimes I will. But honestly, I would say 
90, no, I'd say if it's even more than that, I'd say 95% of the time, uh, I'm running inside the waistband holster at that three o'clock, four o'clock position is what I'm. Now, as you can see here, there is not a lot of stuff. I don't carry a lot of stuff. I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. I don't feel the need to carry a lot of stuff. Um, this honestly is about as much stuff as I want to carry. So some guys, man, they're taking the kitchen sink, they're taking everything. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the fun thing about EDC is it can be what you want it to be. For me personally, I've tried adding a, a multi-tool, for example. Uh, I put it on, I, you know, it's just, and then I don't use it all that much. And so for me, it's not worth having it on my person. But what I do is I have a truck bag. So that's where I carry all my stuff. I'll put, post a link to the truck bag if you want to see what's in that one. But that one is geared more towards... It's kind of a secondary EDC type of deal. I, um, it complements my EDC that, that I have on my person, but also it's geared towards, I spend so much time in the mountains in the truck that it has uh, some hand warmers, for example, and those type of things that really I, you don't, I don't see as needed in an EDC situation. But if I ever got stuck in the truck out shooting overnight or something, uh, little little things in there that would help uh, a lot of cordage, for example, those type of things. But I just don't feel the need to be carrying a bunch of stuff. I don't like it. I don't. I, I hate being uh, weighed down by all that stuff. Not weighed down in the sense of actual weight, but just having so many things on me. I'd rather have a very simple system of things that I actually use. And that's what I find, because I will add things to my EDC and then they're just taking up space. I'm finding I don't use them, so I get rid of it. And over the years, this is what I've landed on. This is what I really like. This is what I continue to use. I mean, flashlight every day, I use my flashlight. Of course, the keys, no brainer, wallet, knife. I mean, I just don't go anywhere without a knife. I've always been a knife guy ever since high school. I've been a knife guy. Uh, of course, the phone for communication and then uh, the gun for self-defense reasons. But and then this is just a, a nice little backup knife. And sometimes um, it comes in handy. Maybe you're in a situation where you don't want to pull out a big fixed blade. And when I say big, a lot of you guys, well, this isn't big. And I would agree. But some people, it's a fixed blade and it's a murder weapon. And uh, so sometimes, you know, a little non-threatening, cute little yellow knife. That comes in handy to pull that out every once in a while as well. So again, uh, EDC, these will change, these will change. Other than that, pretty much, well, yeah, flashlight, that'll, that'll rotate too. But um, yeah, that's, that's my EDC, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's, a, it's an interesting topic because my, my philosophy on it is KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Other people, man, they bring everything to the kitchen sink. One's not right. One's not wrong. But for me, I'm not bringing a bunch of stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See ya. There is one more piece of gear that uh, I forgot to show you for my EDC. Now this one I take with me every day. This, it just hangs out in my back pocket and then uh, you know, you never know, zombies, uh, societal collapse, you know, 